One of the things that makes Edwards Trust unique is that as well as offering counselling services, we also offer wellbeing therapy as well. Wellbeing is offered at a bereavement charity so that we can support uh, the bereaved families both physically and emotionally. I offer personal training, uh, yoga and mindfulness wellbeing services. Uh, so this is kind of looking at the more physical aspect of bereavement and felt bereavement as opposed to the emotional side of bereavement because they are interlinked. I would describe wellbeing therapy as a range of different things. Uh, so wellbeing for one person might be on a social level, so it might be that somebody is struggling kind of socially, feeling isolated, they need to get out for a walk, they need to speak to someone new who's used to you know, working in a, a bereavement setting. So it might be the social aspect of wellbeing they need to work on. Other aspects of wellbeing would be like physical wellbeing, so working on your fitness to feel fitter in everyday life. Um, and other aspects would be emotional wellbeing. So I suppose that would come into the counselling and more for me, the mindfulness services that I offer, which will kind of teach people the skills to not chase thoughts that are unuseful to them. So it's not about totally blocking thoughts and pushing them away. It's more about trying to let your presence come into the present as opposed to letting your thoughts be in, in the forefront of your mind all the time. So I'd say learning these skills and actually tiring the body out physically and doing exercise can aid towards sleep as well. Yeah, definitely. The exercise that I offer, or that anyone would offer, doing, doing any kind of training, whether it's yoga, core work, strengthening, flexibility, will release tension in muscles. So when we've got that feeling of wanting to run away or wanting to freeze because we're feeling anxious or traumatised in a situation, it's a healthy outlet for that energy and it's somewhere for that energy to go as opposed to staying in the body within us and troubling us. So it's a, it's a healthier outlet for that energy to kind of be dispersed into. Wellbeing generally, I would say, is important post-bereavement because you're walking into and experiencing a different world after you've been bereaved. And so socially, physically, emotionally, you might be feeling a lack of confidence or a lack of purpose and you'll be needing to learn new ways about how to be in that new world. So I'd say paying attention to different parts of your wellbeing will undoubtedly help your experience and your journey through your grief.